Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a piece of software to clone your disk drives or possibly partitions, whatever you want to do. And best of all, it's absolutely completely free, which is absolutely great. So that means you can save your money and purchase one of our Mike's Unboxing mouse mats, available from the links in the video description below. And uh, with six cats to feed as well, it's difficult to do. So please do try and support the channel. Anyway, with all that said, let's head over to the computer and we'll take a look at this free piece of software from Carry Fred. It's absolutely fantastic. Very, very small footprint and is just really easy to use. So let's demonstrate it now. So open up a web browser and you can go to carryfred.com. And there's actually a whole bunch of different tools in here which you might find useful. So even if you don't want a disk copying piece of software, then you might want something else like their Ultra Virus Killer or their Tech Tool Store, Device Rescue, etc., etc. The list goes on and on. But today we're going to be taking a look at Disk Copy. So Disk Copy, look at the overview, is basically a friendly disk and partitioning cloning tool, ideal for both migration and to faster storage and all that kind of stuff. You can also convert MBR drives to GPT and also convert GPT drives to MBR. So if you're actually watching one of our older BIOS flashback videos and your flash drive needs to be MBR rather than GPT, this might be really helpful for you to say typing a load of command prompt stuff. You can also make drives bootable. So if you've got a Windows drive and it's actually, well, knackered and you wanna make it bootable and it no longer boots, potentially this can fix that as well. You can choose partitions, single partition cloning. Yeah, you get the general idea. This is effectively a beta piece of software. It's continually evolving. So as you can see there, disk copy is in beta stage. If you've got any bugs or issues, you can contact fred at carryfred.com. And yeah, there's a full instructional guide here. So if you don't wanna watch this video, you can just go ahead and go to their site and find it all out from there. So let's go ahead and download the application. It is completely free. Don't need any passwords or anything like that. Just download this to our Windows desktop and it's a very very small file as you can see it's just under two megabytes absolutely tiny so we can close this window down and we'll install this copy you'll get the user account control click on yes and there it's just uh, ridiculously quick just boots up and there you go so this is the main user interface you've got your version number you've also got help and if you want to donate to carry fred you can do from here and this is essentially everything you need to do so you've got options, so disk copy. If you're doing a just a strict disk to disk copy, so cloning in effect, then you wanna start off in disk copy. If you just want to copy a partition on a disk, so say for instance, you've got a hard drive and it's a fit single physical disk and it's got maybe three partitions, like a C drive, a D drive and an E drive. And on your E drive, for instance, you may have your Steam library and you just wanna copy that over onto another larger drive because your Steam library is getting out of control you can use partition copy to do that very easily. Also, you've got some utilities as well. So you can do things such as erasing and initializing a disk. You can also convert the style, as we said, from MBR to GPT and vice versa. You've got some advanced disk options and also you can find out disk information, depending on which drive you've got. And it'll tell you what's going on and also the partitions that are on it. You get the general idea. So. Yeah, it's a pretty straightforward and simple piece of software. You've also got the option to delete partitions, create a partition, resize, format, all those kinds of things there. So that's uh, pretty cool. But what we want to do today is we want to do a straightforward clone of one disk to another. So we're going to clone disk zero to disk one, being that this is a two terabyte drive and the primary is a one terabyte. Even though there's loads of space left, I want to swap it over anyway. So we go to the disk copy. So first of all, we want to select the disk to copy. So this is our source disk. And as you see, all of this is selected because that means it's going to do the entire drive, including those important EFI, raw and recovery partitions, because otherwise Windows just won't work as it should do. And next we go down and we can select our target disk. Now, because we've only got one other disk, it's defaulted to this. So it's taken the guesswork out of it. Obviously, if you've got more than two or three or more physical drives, then just select the appropriate one. So I'm going to select disk one, and also you've got the target disk partition layout. So if you're happy with this, you can just leave it exactly as it is. If you want to change any of those details, so repartitioning or changing the partition sizes, you can select the individual partition and you can make adjustments down here at the bottom. So that is again very cool. 
don't need to do anything there at all. So I can leave that exactly as it is. And also you've got the option there, so to make the target disc bootable. So if for some reason it isn't, it will make it. And also you can change the target disc's partition style. So if you're trying to clone your drive and you want to put it into an older computer, you can switch it back to MBR. Really just leave it as it is if you want to do just a direct clone. So when you're happy, or better still, if you make a mistake, you can just click on start over. And we'll do the same thing again. So there's our primary drive, there's our secondary. So we're happy with this. So we're just gonna click on start disk copy. You get a warning here saying that it's going to erase the data and they're not responsible for data loss, etc. Are you sure you want to proceed with the disk copy operation? Yes, we are. And we'll click yes. So now what it's doing is erasing the target disk. And we can click OK to those things. Basically, because it's trying to access a disk which has nothing on it. So don't worry about that if that pops up. If you want to at this point, you can go off and have yourself a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want to do. Visit the toilet. The choice is yours. It tells you about how long it's going to have. And if you want to, if you want to leave your computer and just let it shut down when this is finished, you can choose the shutdown after copying. Or if you're uh, getting a little bit panicky, you can just click on cancel if things are going slightly wrong. But it says there, it's got the time left there. So I'm going to let this carry on do its thing and we'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so it's come to the end and we started this about 20 past two. It is now 2.37. So just under 20 minutes to clone this drive, which isn't too bad at all. And actually you've got the information there. Yeah, 1419 through to 1436. Roughly we were transferring it somewhere in the region of about 60 to 70 megabytes per second, which isn't particularly quick. I would have liked to have seen it do it a little bit quicker than that, but I guess this is using a different technology rather than using the shadow volume copy, which uh, a lot of other vendors will try to do. But yeah, 100% success, all tasks completed successfully, which is what we like to see. So we can click on OK, close this, and that's it, we're done. So we can close this app down and uh, swap the disk over as you would normally after cloning a disk. So there you go, didn't take very long at all, and uh, Dave is actually still sleeping on the Mike's Unboxing Mouse Mat, which you're more than welcome to try and pick one up from technicallystable.com. Links will be in the video description for that if you want to help support the channel. And also there'll be links, obviously, for the software used in today's video, so if you want to check that, you're more than welcome to do so, or any of their other great software utilities on the Kerry Fred site. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the channel notification. That way you'll be notified on future video releases. Is. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully, we'll catch you and Dave in the very next video. Thanks for watching.